Hey, it's Are you ready to get your cat? Are you ready to get into doing outdoor things. We were hikers long before we were hunters. Seems like the road puts you right into where the truckers are hanging out. My name is Jennifer Wolpensky and I am an engineer and I also write and do some editing for Northwoods Collective and Project Upland. And I have been hunting, this is my fourth season upland bird hunting. We just started kind of looking to expand our outdoor recreation, but also we just love dogs and, and we wanted to, to bring dogs into what we were doing. And, and so, yeah, we got started duck hunting and yeah. got into doing some upland bird hunting. And, and here in Washington, there's just, there's so many opportunities to get out and find birds and just explore new areas. And so we've just fallen in love with, just fall in love with getting out there and, and seeing what we can find and, and trying to find opportunities to get birds. Starting out not having any sort of um, family history with hunting, we were just figuring it out totally on our own. And there's so many times when you're out there, you don't know if you're in the right spot, you don't know if you're in the wrong spot, you don't know if you're wasting your time or if you should keep going. And so it's just, it's been such a learning curve. And this season, more than any other one in the past, we've been consistently finding birds when we've gone out. You know, if we've gone looking for chucker, we can find chucker there. If we've gone looking for quail, we've been finding quail. Making the most of the opportunity and getting in a position to take a shot and actually hitting the bird is, is still part of that, that journey, but, um, but at least we're starting to get some, some success in, in finding what we've been out there for. And I think too that, you know, like I said, we're, we were hikers before we were hunters and, and that's a very, it's a very destination oriented activity. You climb the mountain to get to the top. The destination at the end is the goal. And, and with hunting, I find, there's so much to see along the way. Like there, there's so many details to focus on as you're learning bird habitat. You know, what, what might just look like a sea of sage or a field of grass as you get to know it. There's so many details and different types of grass and, and then you start learning where the different birds are and what kind of habitat's important and focusing on the detail and enjoying the entire climb up the mountain instead of just waiting until you get to the top has been, uh, been really new for us this year and, and really fun. Go Poor Piper, she's our, our three-year-old, and you know, we were brand new and she was brand new and we were figuring it out together and, and, uh, and to have grown together, you know, she didn't have a lot of bird contacts when she was, was young, but she's starting to get those now as, as we've started to figure out where to put her to, to get on birds. And then our second dog now, her daughter, um, has certainly gotten off in her first season on a, on a better foot with more bird contacts. Um, but just their, their development and, and them growing along with us has, has been fun. So we're figuring it out, they're figuring it out, and, and uh, definitely starting to, to find birds and, and connect on them together. The dogs are certainly central, but I also think, especially being new, it's such a challenge to find birds and then to make, an, make the most of an opportunity when you find birds. Um, I just, I love being outdoors. I mean, it, look around, look where we've been. Um, it's just it's spectacularly beautiful to have that teamwork of you and the dog out there to meet this goal and find some birds. Uh, to me, it's just, it's what I want to be doing.
coming into this as a new hunter, I didn't grow up hunting, I didn't grow up doing this, and so it's hard and, and it's discouraging, especially the first couple of seasons. You have no idea if you're in the right spot. It's hard to connect with people, you know, people are a little shy about sharing places where they hunt, and I get that. Um, and so I guess I would say, as a new hunter, stick with it. If you love it, just keep doing it. You'll find birds, you'll, you'll find the right habitat, you'll learn those little details that make the difference between Good being job, successful and not. And you'll get connected Pick with a network of, of like-minded people Good that dog, yeah. are really generous with their time, yeah. with helping you, and, and that has all come a couple years into the journey. It didn't come right away, um, but you start forming connections and, and making relationships with people. And, um, and none of us are, really people people we're dog people first and so we connect over that and uh, and that's been really special to to form those friendships and and then your your learning curve and, and sort of your encyclopedia of of where should i go and what's the right kind of habitat that starts growing really fast i'm jennifer wopensky i'm a new upland hunter and i hope to keep doing this for a long time Thank <laughs> you.